Welcome back, guys. This is episode 18, uh, John Henry versus our Gabagool deck, part 2. Uh, last round, or last game, did not end well for Alex. Um, they usually don't. But you're growing. You're growing. Uh, no, we're gonna, I'm growing, yeah. Going to roll. That is a, a 6. I can get higher than a 6. Baby boy, I got a 7. Alright, I'm just going to run with this. You got a seven, One, damn. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna run with mine. I, I, I don't think I should, but fuck it. I. I'm gonna keep mine too. Okay, cool. So you go uh, first. I go first. I'm going to put down a Terra, a Desert Terra. I am also going to put down an Earth's Core, but it's gonna fatigue it because I can't use it this turn. And with yep. that, I'm going to end my turn. Wow. Wow. Uh, I draw a card. Oh, uh, I, 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 need to book, I didn't bookmark it. I won't play it, but I just... There we go. I drop a Nighttime Terra. Uh, I mm -hmm. draw a Dark Aura card. And then I drop a Ludwig uh, Fatigued. Ooh. And then I end Ludwig. my turn. Is he good on the piano? Was that Ludwig was famous for? No, he was just like a vampire that like ran around in like the 1800s. I think he's like a serial killer in, in New York, but people are like, oh, he's a vampire. Oh. I don't know. We'll probably do a series okay. talking about like all these cryptids. Yeah. One day. I think that would be interesting. People I've, would like it. I've actually been working on that because I thought it would be a very interesting idea. But um, the way I'm working on it is I just really don't want to talk about the Chupacabra. So I don't think I'm going to do it in order. Beasties. Yeah. Just kind of do like the ones I want to do. I am my turn. Um, all right, cool. Uh, oh, I... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I forgot I have this. I had put lightning in the bottle on him. He activates immediately, and I hit you for 10. <gasps> oh, hold on. Is that that mountain? That's a, that's a desert. You have the desert. Terra. Okay, so 20. No. Yeah, I hit you for 20. Okay. Alright, with that, I end my turn. So wait, you hit me for 20? Right, right? You said that's a desert uh, boost? No, that's that's a mountain boost on yours. That's what I was asking you about. I no, and I said you have the, the desert terra. <laughs> no, no, okay. no, so you don't yeah, have yeah. that bonus. I hit you, yeah, so I hit you for 10. Alright, um, you end your turn? I end my turn. Wait, okay, so 1, 2, 3... Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, drop a gala nipper. Uh, fatigues. A gala, a gala nipper. Oh, say that yeah, he's a little mosquito stuff. boy. Gala nipper. Gal no, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> and that's the end of guys. I really hope you enjoy <laughs> And we are done. Uh, I do have my nighttime Terra bonus, so so he does hit for twenty now. Twenty. Okay. Um. I'm going to hit your guy Scudis for 20. For, for 20? Okay. Yep, Sounds and good. you hit me for 10, but he's a bloodsucker, so he gets it back. So it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even I matter. In the end, it doesn't even matter. Um, wow. You see why I made this deck for Anthony? Because it's kind of simple. He doesn't have to yeah. worry about shit like that. It, work, it works very well. I mean, it only gets, it only gets complicated when you have the, um, the lady. Well, because the tokens... You kind of ruined my. Tokens too well. Yeah, you ruined my my token game. So that those tokens were just kind of out to be out at that point. Mm. Um, with that goddamn New Year's New Beginnings. But all right, yeah. go on. I end my turn. All right, I I draw. I. It's funny how you just mentioned how the New Year's New Year's Beginnings ruined your game. I uh, think New Year's New Beginnings. And I take all my cards. I hate I New Year's person. New Beginnings. I want to see the person. Oh yeah, I want to see the person face to face who was like, you know, it'd be really funny if they, the person had to like this. I lost my deck. fucking Mocha Vampire because of you, you bastard. Um, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Who originally made that wow. card? All right, so I only used one to pull that out, so I have one on the Earth's core, and I just dropped into Earth Aura. With that, I'm going to use Bookmark. So I'm going to pull two more. 
and another New Year's New Beginnings. My... <laughs> yeah, with that I end my turn. All right, cool. I uh, draw. Um, wow, I am not getting any aura. I really should have rerolled or a uh, uh, mulligan. Um, I'll be honest with you. I didn't have any aura in my left hand. That's why I was like New Year's and Beginnings is just gonna be my saving grace. Nice, nice. Um. So I'm going to hit you with my Ludwig. Okay. So he still stays, and I hit you with my Gala Nipper, so he's gone. Okay, so put 10 on um, your Ludwig. But he has Bloodsucker. Damn. Yeah, well. And I uh, use a Lightning in a bottle. And I hit you for 20. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, is there anything you... else? No, and there's nothing else I can do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, there's nothing I can do. Yeah. Alright, so I activate my cards. I'm going to put down our Earth Aura. Uh, with that, I'm going to put down two Cactus Cats. And I'm going to bookmark before I end my turn. Yep, and with that, I end my turn. Alright, cool. I draw a card. Oh, jeez, man. Um, these bad boys are up. Wow, they hit, they hit hard. Um, I'm going to hit you for 20, and then I'm okay. going to hit you for another 20. Oh. Then I end my turn. Um, Actually, no, wait, I use, nope, nope, I, I, I take that back. Oh, um, oh okay. I love this song. It's like one of my favorite Dilla beats. <clears throat> oh, not, speaking of Dilla. Of... Speaking of mm -hmm. Dilla, have you seen the uh, documentary on Hulu? No, the Dilla I think it was the New York Times or something like that. They made a documentary on Dilla, and no it is shit. it is it made me cry a couple times. I'm not gonna lie. Um, oh my god! They interviewed his mom, and she Aww. she said. Um, this is a bummer. Like this is real. This is it's really a bummer. But she tells the story of when he died, and how he died, and it was really, really sad. Um, he didn't die in the hospital. He died on the car ride to the hospital. Really? Yeah. Uh, just watch it. It is really, it is really interesting. Uh, this no, goes for everyone no, out there no. watching. It is really good. And Dilla is like my favorite musician of all time and if you don't know who Dilla is just watch the documentary and you'll find out like oh wow this guy's hyper influential like hip hop or and even jazz wouldn't really be where it is today without him so oh yeah no and it's, it's kind of funny because you're a huge uh, Dilla fan and I like Nujibits and we talked about this but they were both born on the same day yeah same day yeah uh, two, two legends huge yeah huge implication on the hip hop and jazz Fields. Like, they wouldn't be where we are today about them. Well, those two are also considered, like, the grandfathers of, like, lo-fi hip-hop. Uh, mm -hmm. Nujibes more so, but Dilla did have a, a period in time where he was making, like, some lo-fi, just to kind of, oh, yeah. lack of a better term, where he was making some, like, lo-fi beats and all that. So. Yeah. Uh, and you... Did your turn? No, I was, I thought you were still on your turn. I even started. Oh, no, yeah, I end my turn. All right. All right. I put down an Earth Aura. I am putting down Tribal Code. He is in haste, so he goes first. He does have a uh, Tribal Boost as well. The Cactus so Cats are that, fearsome critters. Uh, so does he hit more, or what does he do? Twenty. So he has uh, seventy health plus twenty with the two Cactus Cats, and he mm -hmm. hits for thirty plus twenty damage as well. Okay. Hits for thirty. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just going to directly hit you for each one of my cards. So ninety. 50, remember these Cactus Cats hit for plus 50, so they do 80, 160. 80. Holy shit. 1, 2, 3, 5. That's also a thing with 60. the last game. I didn't get, I didn't get no terror. Uh, yeah, I didn't get no terror. Yeah, that that desert was the only was the only uh, terror I, I added. I didn't add anything else because I figured you, John Henry, it's in your archive. You have a Mountain Terra bonus or Terra card in your archive. But I figured I don't. You don't really need it. He already hits hard, and to kind of like, yeah. just to make sure like your deck is like streamlined, so you don't have any extra cards you don't really need. 
um, mm -hmm. I made sure, like, you know, I, I, I used those two cards that it would have wasted somewhere else. So, you have those deserts, and they make your cats hit really hard, and it, it only, like, strengthens your tripod arrow because of the yeah. fearsome critters. The boost and it also means I can't, like, do that little bloodsucker thing on them where, like, oh, I, uh, I hit you, and I gain my health back. It's like, no, I can't even oh, hit I these cactus cats anymore because they will There's fucking no kill me. Yep, and with that, I end my turn. All you. All right, so I draw a card. Oh, finally. I got a dark aura. Um, I drop a Chupacabro. It's funny that, that fatigued, we just of course. talked about Nujibis and uh, Jay Dilla because I just finally bought... It's something I've been wanting to buy for, like, years. I finally bought his first... I believe it's his first album, Modal Soul. I bought it on vinyl. Oh, beautiful. I still have my donuts vinyl. I, I bought donuts on vinyl. Is that one of your? Is that your favorite album? Of all time, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It is like my oh, favorite so album. It, it it can make me cry if I listen to it all the way. Like it does not. It every time I I've listened to, um, I have spot of stats. So what that does is it tells me like my lifetime, like listens and all that, and that's not counting like the YouTube mixes and like the stuff that he doesn't have on Spotify, but like with Dilla alone, I am like the second. I, I I'm I'm his top two listeners on Spotify. Um, did you um when Spotify recast came out, did it tell you like what percentage? Like he's what always in my top five. Were? He's always he's yeah. always either um, number one or number two. He's always there. Um, but I have twenty thousand minutes listening to him. Ooh. And because uh, uh, I I have it open right now and uh. I have 4,377 streams just from Donuts alone. So that I've listened to the album like hundreds of times. Because there's only about 30 songs in there. 31 songs. So I've, I've listened to it hundreds of times. And it, it could still make me cry. Um, powerful album. You know you have a, a, a good... No, that's just... You love yeah. his music. It's just always... It's always just like a, such a sad story. But... Um, yeah. And it's my turn, right? Uh, yeah, I dropped the Chupacabra. Um, God, he hits hard. Um, okay, so what? He does 30. I hit your Tripodero for 20. Okay. He hits me back for 30. That means I do... You have for what, 30, you said? I have... I hit him for 20. So okay. he has... 80, 30 left. 60. He has 60 left. Because remember his his tribal oh, boost. Oh shit. Okay. Um. So he does that. Uh. My Ludwig has 15 health left. Um. Okay. Oh fuck. 20. I'm kind. I, I kind of have to. Um. I hit him for 40. With my Galanipper. Right. He does plus 20 damage. Um, if he's already damaged. So he has 20 health. Okay. And uh, I end my turn. Okay. 20. Can you put that down to 20 when you have the chance? Oh, yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. No okay. problem. With that, I bookmark. I draw. I put down an Earth Aura. Um, with that, I'm going to use one of my Cactus Cats to... Can I hit... I can hit... Um, yeah. Chupacabra, right? Yeah. I take out your Chupacabra. Nice. Um, with that, he has 15. I'm going to use my Tripodero to hit him. Nice. And then my last Cactus Cat, I'll hit you directly for 80. Wow. 50, 60, 70, 80. Um, wow. And with that, I end my turn. Okay, so I draw... Fuck. Um... Let's see here. Oh, I meant to tell you this the other day, but I had a show and tell type thing for my ASL class, and I was like, I don't know what to like talk about. Mm -hmm. But what I was going to do, I was very tempted. I was going to bring in my Metazoo cards and talk yeah. about them. You should have. <laughs> I was like, you could have. You could have. Like, how far? <laughs> you could have like recruited some some more meta dudes. Um. Yeah, but. 
truth be told, I had two problems with that. One, I didn't know how far I could have gone with my ASL, being like, this is a chubacabra. Oh yeah, that, that'd be a fucking mess chubacabra. to sign. So you just yeah, have to do like the, the letters? Yeah. That would be a mess. So what I did while you were talking was, uh, I dropped a bunny man for two of my aura, and then I used a lightning in yeah. a bottle to awaken him and take out the tripodero. Uh, oh. So that's why I still have this one out, but it does go back in, and I end my turn. Okay, perfect. I, I should I really should have mulliganed. I have like no fucking aura. I use I use uh, rock rain to take out your bunny man because I use six of these because I'm gonna use every single one. Gotcha. Um, I take that out, and with that, uh, with these two doing eighty, I hit you directly for one sixty. Nice. Okay. All right, and you end your turn. I end my turn. All you baby boy. All right. Ooh. All right. So I have dark aura. Uh. Um, I use my death beam. Go fuck you. Uh, take out your, one of the cactus cats. Gotcha. I'm tired of them. Oh, I gotta put this back up here. Oh no! Wait, 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 wait! No, 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 no. It goes into no, your limbo. Limbo is for oh, like your beasties. Odd. Just with, for death okay, beam, this one? one goes into the afterlife because the Which the spell says it. What's the middle one? Uh, that is your cemetery. That's where like your that New Year's New Beginnings cemetery. and like your spells and all that shit go. Gotcha. Okay, thank you. That's you already you have know. like. Oh, no. I was going to say, I was like, damn, you, there's no way in hell you have all those. Did you use no, a Karen no, already? New no, New Year's New Beginnings. Remember, that's all my new oh, new yeah, new yeah. Okay, I was, fixing, I was like, what? Yeah, no. Okay, so wait, yeah, I got to put these back. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, Alright. Cool. Stop fucking with my cards! Ari got, Ari got on to right. me when she was watching. She was like, uh, okay, can you stop doing that? I'm like, what are you talking about? It's like, I don't think Alex likes that. <laughs> like, me taking, like, your cards and, like, putting them everywhere. It's like, no, you're playing you're for them. <laughs> well, you hear that, Ari? You. I'm helping, I'm helping him out. Yeah. You're doing stuff I wouldn't normally do, because I, I'm pretty sure in the last game, I put stuff in the um, afterlife, because I was like, oh, this is where everything goes. Oh, yeah, whatever. Um, alright, so, wait, you end your turn? I end my turn, because I did my, my yeah. death beam, just, yeah. Yeah, I just started. Okay. Alright. With all these ores I have out, I'm going to use two of them to take out this guy, put my fatigue, and then I'm also going to use another two to take out uh, the drop possum. Oh, fuck you. Which, if, if that's a real uh, cryptid, I would love to see a drop possum. Oh, yeah. All of these are real cryptids. Um, I was, I hit you directly. Even John Henry. Yeah. Wait. Oh, <laughs> Someone's gonna send us a picture of like an actual dead guy who's named John Henry. And we're like, yeah, this is a cryptid. I'm, like, I'm like, oh no. So you said you hit me for eighty, right? I hit you for eighty, and then I end my turn. Yep, gotcha. Like, what? What is your deal against John Henry? He's an no, American I hero. Love John Henry. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I dropped I my Gallinipper, and I use okay. Necromancy. Uh, so okay. I search a limbo, search my limbo for a beastie, and I could shuffle it back into my spell book. So I any beastie you want, right? Yep, any beastie I want. Uh, there was a comment on one of our previous videos. This is probably gonna come out like way too late. Um, yeah. But yes. just to clarify it, yes, in that cosmic deck, the lizard people you could search for any of them. And I even said in one of the episodes, the first one you see, but it's any one that you want. So oh, wow, you could search for any beast, any alien beastie you wanted. I was just always like, oh yeah, yeah, I wanted that. Like, every time I would see a gray, I would be like, yeah, I want that. Or if I saw a lizard, people would be like, yeah, I want that. Usually the first one I would see is like, oh yeah, there's a use that I can use it. You know, I could use this card, so fuck it, I'm just going to go for that one. But if I wanted to, I could grab my um, Reptoid Ruler. Holy shit, you could have ended those games a lot faster. Those are like 40 minutes. Yeah, episodes. um... And because of that, I use my Necromancy. Another part is I could use, like, pay one aura mm -hmm. to drop a token that is uh, a, a 10 LP, 10 damage token, Beastie Zombie. Okay. And uh, I end my turn. Okay, cool. I start my turn. I draw. I am going to resur I must resurrect. I'm going to put them all into active. Um, I'm going to place down a Cactus Cat, put him into Fatigue. I'm going to use my Stone-Eating Gactus ability, the Star... Savage? Scavage. 
and I'm going to put um, tri tactical underneath him. Does the does the terror boost carry? No, it's just the attack. No, okay, okay. Just wanted to just wanted to know. And with that, I am going to hit you for forty-five. Okay. And then eighty. And then in eighty. Yep, you got it. Okay. Wow, this is this is a quick match. This is a quick match. I finally um, feel like I have a good match for the first time. You, so you like the deck? You like the deck I built you? Uh, I told you, yeah, I told you last and time. And we didn't I even go into the deck. side deck. Um, yeah, I, th I think I after. I think after because this is kind of kind of a short match. Hopefully, uh, we could go through your archive just so you can kind of see like what you have. Uh, so like That's the perfect. the viewers can see what I have in your side deck. All right. So you, know, you end I your turn. I would love for you to say that, and then you, be, yeah, I end my turn. I would love for you to say that on the next turn you go. I pull out a gun. <laughs> I pull out a gun and I shoot my computer. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I send. I, I I pull out my cyber gun, and I, I send a cyber bullet to your computer. <clears throat> I need you to op open the email when you open the email. <laughs> open the email. <laughs> I click on the attachment, and it's just like a gun. It's like a JPEG of a gun pointing at your face. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> ah! You get so terrified, you just like duck and cover. All right, so I, I drop a Vampire Mercy one. Brown. Okay. Uh, I have my Gala Snipper. He hits for twenty. I'm going to. Uh. Here, do you, do you want to look at the underneath card for his? Stats? No, I'm gonna hit you okay. for twenty, and then I end my turn. Okay. Okay, I bookmark. I drop down a Terra. Um, I'm actually. Wait a second. Did you hit me for eighty with your Cactus Cat? I did last turn. Was this Cactus Cat out when you hit me? Yeah. Okay, so you actually hit me for ninety because it has a Tribal Boost as well. Oh, where do you where do you see the Tribal Boost Thank at? You. Oh, it's literally in giant red text. It says the word Tribal, tribal boost. boost. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, my next turn, I'm going to use um, Jaring Rocks for one of my auras, and I'm going to use it for your Vampire No, Mercy no, so you no. Have, no, no. <laughs> you have to attack my Cactus Cat, or you have to attack my Cactus Cat. Okay, so she's dead. You, you're just going to take him out? You, how much damage do you do? I do 40. 40. Alright, so that does... Well... Do you take your oh, wait. cactus cat out then? Actually, yeah, I do take your cactus cat out. Because it, it forces just, it to attack. It. Yeah. 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 That's fine. I'm fine with that. And then I'm going to use another one of my gearing ores for you to, your jaring rock to hit the other cactus cat. So wait. Do you want to use... Wait, so you're using so two? two of them. And you're going to use my vampire one. mercy brown on it, your cactus cat? This one, and this gala to but my then that means your cactus cat, cat dies. Actually, no, wait. Yeah, he has dies. ten... And then he takes out my Mercy Brown because of the, the treble boost. So it has Ooh, 50 wow, health. Yeah. yeah, so then you take out my Mercy Brown with that. Yeah. And then uh, Jiren Rocks, you take out my Gala Nipper? Yeah. No, no, no. This is the same the same, the same same ability as this one. Just I'm using this card. Your Gala Nipper mm -hmm. has to hit my other Cactus Cat when I activate it. Gotcha. So he's he's they're both dead. Are you, are, yeah. Yeah, I, I get it. I was just like, okay, so you're using okay. two Jiren rocks yeah. instead of one. Just, just, just make sure you put the counter on there. This one had ten, and then how much does the Gala Nipper do? 20? Uh, it it did twenty damage. Yeah. So it would. This would be down to forty. Uh, seventy. No, seventy. Wait, what? Oh fuck! They're all right. fearsome critters. Yeah. Oh wow. Actually, so no wait. So thirty, seventy. And then how much, so how much HP would he have in total? This one would have 70, so it would actually have 50. It would have 50 left. 50 left, okay. Wow. Okay. I made your deck too and powerful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did I draw this turn? I don't know. I'm gonna say I didn't, just for the, just for the hell gotcha. of it. Gotcha. It's not gonna make any um, difference. I'm gonna lose anyways. It's not gonna make any difference, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna hit you directly for 45. Holy shit, I gotta do math in my head again. 
Um, just do each each individually, and I'll I'll do it on my. Okay, so first one's forty for the uh, draft possum. Did you already take that? I did forty-five. Does he have? Oh, forty-five. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You're good. You're good. And then, God, thirty plus fifty. You know this one has. Plus... This one has a travel boost as well. Yeah, 10, 20, 30. Oh, does he have travel? Plus 10 attack. 30. Holy shit. And so that one hits for 80, 90, 100, 110. Okay. Gaius Codis, are I'm, you going to hit me with that? I'm going I'm to let you cover it. It seems like you know what you're doing. So the Gaius Codis, are you, are you hitting me with the Stone Eater? I'm going to hit you with the Stone Eater. Alright, so that's 180. Well, doesn't Stone Eater take... 80, oh, yeah, 90, right, 100, 110. All right, with that, I end my turn. Wow. Okay, so uh, with my turn, I use my zombie, and I hit you for 10. Uh, I, I draw. I feel like um, this episode's never going to come out. I have a... <laughs> I use my death beam on your guy, Scudis, so he's dead. Okay. And then I end my turn. Yeah. And you win the game. Next round, you win the game. And I end the game, yeah. Yeah. Wow, congratulations, bro. I, that's I a nice deck, right? It, it, no, it's a fantastic deck. Yeah. Again, you just have to get really lucky with the card, cards you pull. You see, either way, I win. <laughs> if you win and you like the deck, I mean, it it still boosts my ego, and I'm like, wow, I made a I made a fun deck for him. But then if I lose, yeah. I or if you lose, I still win. So either way, it's a win for me. Yeah. Oh, don't forget your desert. Yep. Put that in. Do you want to show the Do you want to show the archive to the people? Yeah, sure. Um. All right. Let's let me grab it. You want to show your archive too while you're at it? Sure, yeah. So in this, you put uh, a slung, a snow gloster. Oh, snolly gloster. That's just like snowy um, gloster. I added the snolly gloster just to kind of help out with like, uh, like a water deck. I mean, it's a very expensive card, but hey, whatever. And it does plus twenty against, um, it, it has a really nice like you know like if it damages the cast, you get plus one hundred. So that's 120. Um, and then I, of course, have your Absorb Auras right here. Uh, just in case mm -hmm. people are running, like, Artifacts or Aura Facts, you can use that, take it out. So you cripple them. Uh, second Anniversary Celebration. It's a great way to... Um, that's actually a counter. That's actually a counter to the New Year's New, new Beginnings. So it if you wanted to add that to your deck, yeah, because it says <laughs> replace the effect text of that spell. That's why I added it there. Um, so if someone drops like a New Year's New Beginnings, you can drop that and be like, nope, each ca uh, caster bookmarks one instead. Um, wow, okay. Yeah, so that's that's something you could add to your deck if you think the New Year's are, you know, they're acting goofy. This is your Mountain Terra, in case you needed it. Yeah, you get two of those. Okay. Um, and here's your Absorb Auras, your Snowy Goster, we already went through. And then, of course, your Power of Red, if you, if you wanted Which to I add that. Yeah, if you if I wanted to like if John Henry or if one of those um cactus cats really needed it. Yeah, like if you if you just wanted to fuck with someone. Mm -hmm. Um Okay, so I'm gonna go through my archive or my side deck. Uh so I have I have four. I just put like four absorb auras in both because it's like whatever. You know, you're gonna need it. Um So with this one you have Smoky Spirits. What the Smoky Spirits does is like you just in combat. Um, so, like, that means, like, if you were to attack, like, one of my guys and I really didn't want you to kill him, like, in this game, I could, if I had that in my hand, I could just drop it and be like, nope, you don't attack. Mm. Um, you and if it's the only, like, beastie or artifact that I have, you can't attack mm -hmm. it until the end of the turn. So, like, you won't be able to attack it again. So, like, I won't have to drop five just to make, just to stop you from taking out my only beastie. I think that's a really wow, useful one, but it's in the side deck just yeah. in case, you know. Um, and then Hateful Demise. Um, this one is more... I only added this one for something that, like, I don't think we'll deal with, like, at all. Um, this is for, like, a Loveland Frogman. Because uh, Frogman okay. has, like, magic proof and all that stuff, so you can't attack it with a Death Beam. So if you are going up against a deck, like a Loveland Frogman deck, uh, you could just drop this one. Uh, but the problem with this is once you once you do this, like if you a a have to add this to your spell, you have to take out your uh, death beams. Oh. Because so you can't have three or higher. Yeah. So you take out the death beams to deal with that Loveland Frogman. 
uh, but you'll still have like your necromancies and all that stuff. Um, but it ignores magic proof. Hmm. So it takes out. That's pretty, that's pretty you can useful. destroy a BC that has two traits. So um, you could take them out like if if there's two traits in there. So like the John Henry, I could take him out with that. Or if it has magic proof, which is what the Loveland Frogman has. Um, and this is a wilderness card. Just gonna keep bringing that up every time I see a good wilderness card. Um, Listen, we're gonna, we, we have to the viewers who have been like, hey, where are the pack openings? Some of us just bought a new wilderness sealed uh, booster box. Yeah. One of us. So, I wonder who it is. One of us. <laughs> so um, if you guys are interested, uh, I'm gonna keep that sealed for now. I'll give you, I'll give you this deck. I'm gonna keep that sealed for now. But if you guys want that open, maybe we'll do it for like a big celebration. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, really, really uh, interesting card set. Like, like in our first video, I had UFO and he had Wilderness, and I've said it before. But like, while I had like the cooler looking cards, and I did have some good cards. Like my Cosmic deck has some uh, UFO cards in it that are like it's irreplaceable. But he has like the best cards in that set. At least from the two sets that like we we had. I'm not saying Wilderness is the best set in the entire game, but right. out of those two, Wilderness is like it's it's irreplaceable because it has like a lot of stuff to cancel out that level in Frogman. And uh, from the mm -hmm. like the research I've been doing, like that is a top tier card. Like if you see a deck like that and you're not prepared to go up against it, you just fucked. There's nothing you can do. Um. So yeah, that's that's just kind of my reason with like I'm go I, I keep telling them that saying like you know your your deck set isn't bad that set you grabbed for the first time isn't bad it has the most like you know tech you can use in a in a in a match mm -hmm. and it really helps kind of it's it, it was really like a balancing de uh, set it was a set that was really just there to like help balance the game to kind of like even the the meta curve if you know I what feel. I'm saying yeah I get you yeah, that's been an episode of uh, MetaZoo Dudes, episode 18. Yeah. 32 minutes. Probably a little we, bit less if I have to edit anything out. Mm, yeah. I can't yeah. believe it's already 18 episodes. I know. It's crazy. People are liking this. Do people are liking us play? It's it's a whirlwind. People are just enjoying this, man. Oh, yeah. It's a fun time. We already have 5.2 million subscribers. Yeah. Uh, we showed up on Good Morning Ooh. America. And we played a, a round of MetaZoo. We just talked about our MetaZoo cards in front yep. of uh, hundreds of thousands of people, and they're like, "Why are these two goobers on our screen right now talking about cardboard?" Why are the Why are these two silly little guys on our on every <laughs> channel known to mankind? I keep flipping the channel, and they're on every every one. fucking channel. Turn on the channel; it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. So it's this has been an episode, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye, babies. Awesome.